Hello, I'm Robert Franz and this is Ask Robert with question number six. Now I had a number of questions that were sort of connected to each other and so I put them together into this, this one set of answers. The beginning of the question goes like this. I frequently hear the popular Four Seasons, uh, by Vivaldi that is, and I hear that it's referred to as from the Baroque period. First of all, who wrote the Four Seasons? Vivaldi. And are there pieces, other pieces from that era that have been popularized in today's genre? Meaning, are there pieces in that era that we hear today? So let's go back to the Vivaldi, first of all. The Four Seasons is probably the most well-known, one of the most popular Baroque pieces that there is. Vivaldi wrote it somewhere between 1716 and 1717, and he wrote it inspired by the woods and the countryside outside of Mantua, where he was living at the time. Um, the piece is made up of four separate concertos. Each concerto describes a different season, and it's one of the earliest examples we have of programmatic music. That is to say, music that tells a story or paints a picture through sounds. Um, so this led me to my second question, which is, is there such a thing as a top five or most requested pieces of the Baroque era? Why, well, yes, there is. And in fact, the number one is Vivaldi's Four Seasons. Probably. Now, everybody has their opinion about what those top five are, so I'm just going to give you my top five in no particular order. Vivaldi Four Seasons. One piece that most people know but don't know that they know it is the Air on the G String by Johann Sebastian Bach, and it actually comes from his orchestra suite number three. So if you want to impress your friends next time they're over for a card game uh, or dinner, you can say, you know, what? let's listen to the air on the G string. This comes from the orchestral suite number three in D major by Johann Sebastian Bach. Very impressive. Also by Bach, the Toccata and Fugue in D minor, uh, the organ work. We all know this piece from Halloween and from Fantasia. And then two works by a German composer who ended up settling in England. Georg Frederick Handel. First of all, his water music, the hornpipe, is one of the most famous uh, tunes that there is. And finally, of course, the Messiah, which is a piece that is heard annually around the world. Finally, the question was, which composers would you say are most commonly performed by Baroque orchestras? Well, if I take mine from the top list, I have Vivaldi, Antonio Vivaldi, Johann Sebastian Bach, Georg Friedrich Handel, and Telemann, George Philip Telemann. And Telemann uh, was a German composer who maybe his tunes aren't super hip that we know them by name, but the way that he wrote music was extraordinary. And so because of that, much of his music is performed today. There are other composers. There's Henry Purcell from England, there's Jean-Philippe Rameau and Lully from France. Um, Corelli from Italy. There are composers from all over Europe uh, that you will hear on a number of our concerts at the Boise Baroque Orchestra.